This is your boy Israel Izzy Dixon, and you're watching EUR Web for entertainment news. Peace out. It's your girl Kim live on the scene for the EUR web and we are here for the launch of the Izzy Show live in Universal Studios. It's hot outside, it's even hotter in here. You want to stay tuned because we have a lot of live performances, we have a lot of great interviews, and we have a couple surprises. Stay tuned here with EUR web. Now this is the star, the host, the man of the Izzy Show. Today for this I am feeling great, and uh, I haven't seen my mom in two years, and she's here, so I'm about to wild out. So. We're going to have to get a little more on that. You haven't seen your mom in two years? My mom lives in Chicago, and I moved out here to follow my dreams, so this is her first time ever seeing me like do anything, so it's I'm cocky right now. That's all I'm saying. That is so exciting. Okay, so your mom is here for the first time. What is it you really want her to see? What's that one thing you want her to walk away and be like wild by? I want her to see that I left for a reason and that this is something I really believe in and it's a part of me. What has you here at the Izzy Show today? We're hosting the after party, what? And no one knows how to party like Mind Over Matter. Exactly. This must have been a very natural thing for you because you are the son of an award-winning, incredible artist, Macy Gray. This is her wonderful piece of work. I'm sure the thing she's most proud of. Yeah. She is, it's my mom, I'm proud of her work, and I love her music. What can we expect tonight for tonight's show? Give us a little sneak peek. Well, I know there's a couple of zombies that are gonna make you laugh, and then a couple of laundromat people that are gonna make you laugh. Basically, a lot of people that are gonna make you laugh. And we all love to laugh. Now, ladies, I don't even have to tell you who he is, just looking at him, you already know he's a star, right? You already know he's made for success, but Jordan, Tell, tell the ladies a little bit about who you are and what you got coming up. Well, my first single came out a couple months ago called Fresh Down on My Socks on Vivo. Got like 100,000 views or whatever, and now my new single just came out called iPhone. Came out, I think, a couple weeks ago. So I'm just working on my album right now and singles. Jordan's being a little modest. Uh, his second single came out, huge success. Check him out on YouTube because this is a very talented gentleman right here. We have the incredibly talented, beautiful Dominique, who is one of the cast members of this wonderful show. What are you most excited about tonight? I'm super excited for our special guest that you guys will definitely get to see. Um, she's a big star. I mean, a big star. So oh my! It should be really fun, and um, I'm super excited for everyone's reaction. Now you have done. Five films? I've written and directed four short films. Four short, oh, she's only written and directed four short films. <laughs> and then you have one that's gonna be in the film festival, right? Um, actually, all four of my films have been in film festivals. <laughs> they've been to, I, I actually lost track about how many they've been to together, 50 together. Um, and uh, my film Cardboard, which is about homelessness, it's the third film I've written and directed. Um, it's been to 20 on Film Festival so far, and it just got accepted into the Utopia Film Festival in Washington, D.C., um, and the film festival is in October. And you're still a teenager? Yes, I'm 13. <laughs> I'm not feeling like an underachiever at all. Not one little bit. I'm going to let you tell them exactly who you are. Well, OnStar, A-R-N-S-T-A-R, Brooklyn, New York, Harlem, New York, stand up, rapper, dancer extraordinaire, just came to entertain and do my thing. You know what it is. Sophia the First, Google it. This is one of the cast members. This is what you're going to find him in, and this is where he's about to become a household name, right? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I mean, it... It's um, it, it's definitely a show aimed at younger kids, so um, it's um, more gonna be known for my character because the kids are like, oh, you're Prince James. You're, I'm, I'm just his voice, but um, when they hear my voice, it's, oh, it's Prince James. They don't know me as Zach, they know me as, as James. So I think that's really cool. Now, is this your first animated film that you've done? No, it's actually a film and a TV series. The film comes out this fall, and then the series launches on Disney Junior in um, early next year. But um, it's I've done other animation. I did an episode of Scooby Doo guest star, um, a Captain Marvel short film, and um, I, I love to do voiceover. It's one of my main things that I've done since I became an actor here in Los Angeles. I, voiceover is one of my main passions. Cedric, this is going to be an amazing night for all of you guys. What are you looking forward to the most? Making people laugh and entertaining them. You know, I think I love that because almost every single one of the cast members have said they want to make people laugh. 
And that is an amazing thing. What brought you to the Izzy Show premiere tonight? Me and Izzy's been friends for about four years now, so I'm just here to, you know, support him through everything. I, I got his back. I'm here. <laughs> And this show is pretty amazing. It's, it's really getting good from the first one to now. Like, he brings out so many people and he's influencing so many young kids. It's just like, it's amazing to see where he came from and how he started and where he is now. I'm proud of him. Well, it's myself, Bernard Dixon, uh, Lupe, and uh, uh, Gooch. And we've brought together one of the most fun, exciting, incredibly talented cast you've ever seen. And we're bringing fun back to television for teenagers, bottom line. And, and it's been missing. We're glad to have it. Oh, absolutely. It's kind of like a, a cross between, between a Living Color, Saturday Night Live, and um, it, but it's for teenagers. Well, if you haven't seen it yet, if you're in the LA area, you gotta come to the Izzy Show here in Los Angeles, California. It is not to be missed. But you have a lot going on. You have your website, uh, New Life Media, right? New Life I just finished produce, executive producing Nick Cannon's new film called School Dance. Also produced a new TV series that's coming out called Bells on TV One. And um, so, yeah, we got things happening. So you're bored. My goodness. Well, Miguel, I know your show is about to start. I'm going to let you go. Look out for the Izzy Show, everybody. Coming to you. Lionsgate. Yeah. One of the great performers tonight is going to be Dylan here who's joining me. Dylan, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm signed to Dark Child, about to get signed to RCA Sony. So I'm just working on my album and uh, just you know, just working on my career and all that good stuff. I also act as well, but today I'm going to be the artist Dylan, so I'm excited. Uh, I, I saw a little sneak peek of what you have to come. It's going to be off the chain. I'm here to support my boy Dylan Allen tonight. Um, he's performing. He's also with Dark Child Records, you know what I'm saying? So I came out to support. Um, but I do have a couple of things, you know, um, for y'all to look for. Um, I'm on Nelly Furtado's album. It's Despair Indestructible, which should be dropping, I'm, I'm thinking, uh, September 15th, I'm pretty sure. And um, so make sure you look out for that. I have a song on there featuring Ellie called High Life. You know, it was dope working with her. So make sure you look out for that. You can actually pre-order her album right now. And um, I have a mixtape. I'm working on a mixtape. Hopefully that drops in the September. Uh, make sure you look out for that. And also I have a feature with the homie Jacob Lattimore. Um, so make sure you look out for that. That's also some things to look out for. Ace is very busy right now, and you're messing around with Rodney, so we already know that's the, it's a given. And Nelly Furtado, Nelly Furtado, in case we don't recognize this beautiful face, which it could be both of these actually, but this is a beautiful daughter of Nicole Murphy and Eddie Murphy. What are we shocked about about the fashions tonight? A lot of colored skinny jeans. I mean, in the 2009, that was like really big, but I didn't know it was coming back. So I mean, it's coming back. So I'm not the only one that's wondering about the skinny jeans. Thank you. I have a feeling you're going to see a lot more of these ladies and their fashion correspondence work. Uh, because when you're looking like this, I think you can really say what is and what isn't in. And we're going to agree that colored skinny jeans are out. Bye-bye. Many of you probably already know Jordan and Jeremy with Teens React, the online show that is just all over the place. We racked up so far over 500 million views on YouTube, so it's doing great. That's the Fine Brothers. We're, we're, we're just, he's just on it, and I'm in the show with my music that they also do, and it's amazing. The Fine Brothers, they, they put together all this stuff. They started from the bottom, they worked their all the way up to the top, and now they're doing it big and doing all these videos, and we love the Fine Brothers. They're awesome. They're amazing, yeah. Fine Brothers, Fine Brothers, Fine Brothers, Fine Brothers.